everyone, welcome to Dee's Cappies and Vintage Toys. A friend of mine, Kara, she asked me if I could do a video for you guys on the Asian kids. I was so happy when she requested that. I love my Asian kids. I have MM kids that are Asian and I also have some softies with the Asian eyes. So I'm going to show you guys all the Asian kids that are in my collection. <music> you guys so what I've decided to do is I'm going to show you all of the Asian MM kids first and after that I'll show you my softies um and the way that I'm going to show you the MM kids is in the order that they were produced for the mass market so this guy that I have here he is one of the very first uh, cabbage patch Asian kids that would ever hit the mass market he is actually what they call a transitional kid so he was from 1989. In 1989, they had transitional kids that were produced. And what that means is he was half Coleco, half Hasbro. His head's Coleco, his body's Hasbro. And it was during the time when Hasbro was actually about to take over from Coleco. Hasbro was taking on the Cabbage Patch Kids and Coleco was saying goodbye to them. So they had leftover parts and this is what they came up with a transitional kit. I have a whole video on that in my library if you guys want to learn more about that. But this guy is special because for many reasons. He's Asian, one of the first Asian kids that ever came out. He is a transitional kid that makes him very special and he's posable so he can dance and <laughs> I love to pose the posable kids and take pictures of them. He's also wearing a very, very cute outfit. Very late 80s, early 90s inspired outfit. He's a very cute, really special little guy. I have here with me two Asian Mattel kids. So these two were produced by the company Mattel after they took over. The Cabbage Patch kids have been with quite a few companies. Um, so Mattel came after Hasbro. And this little girl right here, she is so cute. Look at her little wild hairstyle. She's so cute. She's got braids. She's got ponies. She's got everything going on. But she's so adorable. I love her eyes. I love her complexion. I love the outfit that she's wearing. She's really adorable. She is a, um, a first edition Mattel kid. I'm not 100% positive of the year that um, she came out. But she's one of the first Mattel kids that came out. And this girl right here omg i love this line so this is she's an adoption kid also by mattel and she is a barbie adoption kids so the adoption kids came in four styles my favorite is the barbie and i have quite a few i actually have the barbies um in every variation that you could get of the of the mattel adoption barbies i have but she's one of my favorites because she is the asian girl she's absolutely beautiful from head to toe i love everything about her i love her little pigtails on the side i love her outfit all the barbie girls come with this outfit um so you know there's there's no variations as far as the outfit but the color and the eye and hair combinations there is but she's one of my favorites very very cute you guys know you guys that know me know how much i love play along play along did such an amazing job with the cabbage patch kids and i absolutely love the babies i have quite a few babies in my collection and i'm so proud to say that i have these guys in my collection they're so cute they're, they're asian babies they're adorable and they're different and i love to collect the dolls that you know you don't see a lot of and so these these babies they weren't easy for me to find but i found them this little girl right here is Charlotte Lucita. She is just so cute from head to toe. I love the expression on her face. She's got the two teeth on the bottom. Oh, she's adorable. And she has the curly hair. I love how they dress the babies too. I love how Play Along dress the babies. They've got everything. They've got booties, they've got hats. And then they come with all these cool accessories. They got their little uh, rattles and bottles and everything. And over here, this is Bryce Darwin. He is just everything. Look at him. He's so cute. 
I love him with his little passy in his mouth and he comes with a magic blush cloth because he's a messy face so if you give him he has a little lollipop over there and if you give him the lollipop his face gets really messy and then you wash it off with the cloth but I love him because he is absolutely adorable that's why I I looked high and low for these babies because it's it's not really too easy to find um some of the asian kids and i love them um you're gonna see my from my softy collection i really really love them but here they are my little asian play along babies okay so as far as my mm kids go i believe that i saved the best for last because this is oh my god i love this set so this is the family portrait set I have a few family portrait sets, um, and they come with the big sister, little sister, and a little mini patch puppy. This is my absolute favorite out of all of my family portrait sets. I love, love, love these girls. They are so beautiful. I mean, that newborn baby is just, oh my God, she's everything. And their outfits, and even the puppy, the puppy just goes with them so well. And I honestly have never seen another puppy, another patch puppy like him with the, the black and white. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen him in another uh, family portrait set. I've only seen him in this one. And I just love the pink. I, you know, I love pink. So and the chunky shoes that the big sister has, they accessorize them so nicely. You know, with the bows in their hairs so so beautiful this really is my favorite family portrait set and i keep it in the box because i want to keep it nice it's very very special to me a lot of my kids that are in the boxes are in them because it to, to preserve them to keep them really nice and i don't want anyone to ever think that you know i don't care about them because a lot of us have watched toy story <laughs> and um you know my babies that are in the boxes are not babies that I don't care about. They're the babies that I really, really care about because I want to preserve them. I want them to stay nice forever. They're very, very special to me. And I do have tons that are out of the boxes, um, but you know, there's just certain ones that, like this, this is a set. So if she, if they come out of the box, they're not a set anymore. So I, I just wanted to clear that up. I, I love all of my babies, I do, I love them all, but um, there are certain ones that I feel um, need to be nice in, in their little box. These two that I have here with me, these are my full-size Asian-eyed kids. This little boy right here, this is Zeb Regan. He is everything, you guys. Look at this baby. I mean, he is just beautiful. His blushing, his skin color, his eyes. He's absolutely amazing. I love him so much. Um, he's, he's probably about eight years old. I've got him from a fellow collector. So he's not new, new, but he's, most of my kids are pretty modern. And then this girl over here, this is Julianne. She is, oh my goodness, with the pink hair. Look at the pink hair. So she has everything that I look for in a soft sculpture kid. She has the pink hair, the mocha skin, and the Asian eyes. I love mocha skin and I love Asian eyes and pink is my favorite color. So here are these two beautiful babies. The, these guys that I have with me here are definitely two of my favorites. This is Bobby Asher. He is a uh, very special boy. So he was the 2020 CCE baby. So only Collectors Club members could get these babies. They were only releasing so many at a time online. And you had to kind of, they call it dash. You had to dash to get them, um, you know, I remember the group of dolls that were being sold with him when I, they were sold out within like 10 minutes. So I was very lucky to get him. He's so, so special. He's He's got the Asian eyes, which I love, and he's just beautiful from head to toe. I love his outfit. He's losing his shoe. They always lose their shoes. And he also was a birthday gift to me from my, um, from my bestie, my friend Laura. So he's very special in so many ways, and he's always, always going to be with me. And this little guy, <laughs> this is happy. 
<laughs> and the name is so fitting because look at them he's so happy and no matter how you turn these guys they're looking at you all the time it's kind of neat like it <laughs> I love him so much. Whoever sculpted his face, oh my God, you're amazing because he is just beautiful. The cute little Asian eyes and, and it all goes so well together. He's got the little sprout of hair. And this is how they both came dressed like this. This is how they came to me when I got them. I got um, Bobby on the website and I adopted this guy from a fellow collector. Here are two of my Asian eye Lily boys. This little guy here with the Christmassy hair is Antoine Elijah. He is a um, 2019 Christmas lullaby. He was actually adopted for me um, from the, um, the Christmas event that they have at Babyland every year. My friend Michelle actually went and she was the baby picker for me. That's what they call it. So she picked him for me um, and she had him shipped to me and I, I was able to pick his name out and everything. He's so special because of everything that Michelle did to get him. He means so much to me. And he's also named after two of my boys, my two sons, Antoine Elijah is his name. And he has Asian eyes. And what was so cool about him was he was in the teaser pick that they put online, you know, when they were promoting these guys that were coming out. He was, they had like six kids in the picture and he was one of them and I cannot believe that I got him. Like that's, that's very rare. And this guy is John Carter. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at the Asian eyes, the freckles, the white fuzzy hair. He is everything. And even his outfit is so cute. I, he's very special too. All my kids have a story. So his story is I had him custom made uh, in 2020. I had him custom made for me. And um, he, I was about to go on vacation and I was about to go down to baby land anyways. And a week before I was supposed to go on a trip, they messaged me and told me that he was ready. So I literally went there and picked him up. He was waiting for me at baby land. It was, it was so nice. It was so special. The last two that I have to show you are lollies, Asian eyed lollies. And this is Dahlia Esther. She was in a video about a week ago. Um, she's brand new to my patch and I did a, um, you know, a, an unboxing with her and she's so special. She's, oh, she's everything. She's got the cutest face and I, I just love the Asian eyes on her. The, everything goes so well together. Even with her funky hair, she's just adorable. She's so cute. And this little girl right here is Jeannie. Jeannie, um, Jeannie Violet. Jeannie was originally a bald-haired lully. So she, a bald head lully. I'm sorry, bald, <laughs> a bald head lully. And I had her hair rooted. A friend of mine, Lori, rooted her. She did a fantastic job. So she is not original. And sometimes uh, we collectors, we do that. You know, we have custom hair styles done on them. Um, sometimes people will send them even back to Babyland to get freckles or extra blush and things like that. So I customized her a little bit, but I don't regret it. I think she looks adorable with her new hair and, and her outfit goes perfect with it. I love my soft scuffer kids so much and I really really love my lollies and these guys are my favorite because I am obsessed with Asian eyed babies. As you guys can see they're adorable. They really are. I really love that the Cabbage Patch Company, they did something that most other doll companies did not do. They, they realized that we don't all look the same, so their dolls shouldn't all look the same. Um, you know, it's amazing. Right out the gate, they came out with African-American kids, and I love that. The first year, we had African-American kids. It took a little while. A few years later, they came out with the Asian kids, and now, if you look at the Cabbage Patch kids that are um, being produced today, and I believe this started back with Mattel even, there's Hispanic kids. So you've got Hispanic kids, you've got African American kids, you've got African American kids that are a couple different shades. You get the Asian kids, you've got the Caucasian kids, and, and that's awesome because that's what our world really looks like. So when you're producing these dolls and, you, and you're showing them to the 
public, they have to be diverse. That's that's what's gonna work, and I love it. It's a beautiful thing that they did, and I'm I'm really proud that they did that, and I'm so proud that I have these amazing kids in my in my collection. Kara, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much for suggesting this. Thank you so much for always watching, and um, all you guys, thanks for everything that you do for this channel. This channel is yours too, and you guys make it great. Thank you so much. If anyone else has any suggestions for videos, please let me know. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.